Hey everyone, it's Thumper the Rabbit Rabbit, and I wanted to do a quick demonstration of how to build uh, what I've referred to in some other videos as the Rusty Clock. <laughs> um, the uh, timer component in the game is great for counting down intervals, since you can set it to trigger and then count down to create an event to occur. But uh, what we're lacking is something that can count up. And if you saw like my lighthouse video or some of my uh, multi-stage power of demonstrations, uh, I have uh, scenarios where I want to be able to count up on a certain interval of time and then have something occur. So what I've affectionately referred to as the rusty clock is this bit right here that lets you time or count up on a timed interval. So uh, all you need is a timer, a blocker, and a branch to make this happen and I put some displays over here so I can actually wire up the output and show you how to make a like a display clock out of this uh, and there's a million things you can use this for but the key portion is this over here so we actually do make use of the timer here uh, you have to give it some power before you can do anything with it but I'm gonna change it from its default of 10 seconds uh, to one second so this is how we're gonna make our uh, timer that clicks up instead of down by creating a loop of this thing triggering itself through the blocker. So we also need power through the blocker. And then the output from this blocker is going to go to a branch. Uh, you could use a splitter too, but I prefer the branch. And then the branch is going to come back and trigger the timer. So every time this occurs, it's going to loop uh, for one second because this is what I have the timer set to so a timer triggers the blocker the blocker triggers the branch the branch triggers the timer and boom that's your loop right there so as soon as we start this it just is gonna go non-stop as long as there's power here and because I have this set to one second every one second the branch puts out a pulse of power which we can use for other things. And that's the practical part of this. So you could use this for a number of things, but I'm gonna bring it over to this display over here and connect it to increment counter. And now we've got ourselves a one second clock. <laughs> Instead of using a timer that counts down, we now have a timer that counts up and we can tell this to do something at a certain time. Um, and in this case, I'm going to tell it at 60 seconds, or when you hit 60, uh, we're gonna send power out, and we're gonna use that power to increment the next counter, which will make this a one minute counter. For every 60 seconds here, it's gonna go up by one, uh, but we also need this to go back to zero, so that's why I used a branch here so that I can bring some power back down into the clear counter. And so as soon as this hits 60, that power pulse is going to trigger this to go up by one, representing one minute, and this to go back to zero by hitting the clear, right? Boom, there. And I have the same thing here. This would represent hours if we set this to 60. So once we get to 60 minutes, this will be hours. So I'm gonna take the branch, run it into the increment, and take the other side, run it back down to the clear. And so when this hits 60, it'll count up to an hour, or it'll add an hour and re return this to zero. And so this is now a count up timer or a stopwatch timer. So this is what I wanted to demonstrate is that you can use this little figure eight loop here to create a counting up timer out of a countdown timer plus a blocker and a branch. Um, your application may call for different intervals. You may want something to happen every 10 seconds or 20 seconds or whatever, uh, but this is the same type of principle. Just set this to whatever you want your interval to be. And then uh, if you need that thing to happen after so many intervals, then you could use the same kind of concept here, attach a counter and a target value. And then whenever your number of intervals hits your target value, then boom, 
power will come out and you can use that to set off whatever action you want to occur. So here's the rusty clock, <laughs> uh, as it were. And hopefully you can find uh, lots of different applications for this. Um, there's certainly many to be had and uh, use it creatively, but enjoy the basic rusty clock. Thank you.